uh, gentlemen, I think those who came up with the idea that um, Nigeria and so much of Africa, Africa as a whole, is part of the third world uh, nations or third world countries, they, they, they're not actually making any mistake in as much as we admit that a lot of Africans uh, do also live and are also born in some of those nations that are called uh, advanced nations or first world uh, nations, nations in, um, in the western uh, uh, civilization, you know. But one of the reasons is that, for instance, in Nigeria, I often wonder how those of our people who are actually the wretched of the earth, those who are actually suffering pauperization, suffering oppression and uh, all kinds of suppression on the part of the elites, both the political elite and those who control the economy. Of course, in Nigeria, you can't even control the economy if you are not part of the political elite. So, the political elite is actually the major uh, cause of our crisis of development and uh, economic impoverishment. But unfortunately, a lot of Nigerians still worship and, I mean, kind of hero worship uh, members of this uh, very close, closely guided uh, elitist group. And um, sometimes it's quite frustrating when you want to, when, when you want to reorientate their consciousness and you try to make them to become conscientious regarding how they can free and liberate themselves mentally. And they, they come attacking you as if their life depends so much on how uh, so devastating they, they get to attack you for speaking truth to power. It's quite unfortunate. I think we need to really change this orientation on the part of the ordinary or common uh, man in Nigeria for us to make any uh, you know, heavy. Otherwise, we will continue to remain a lot of the Nigerian population, uh, uh, population and much of African population will continue to be enslaved, you know, mentally, intellectually, uh, economically, politically and otherwise. We need to really, first and foremost, liberate our minds and understand the problem that we have, the common cause of the economic adversities and backwardness of this country and this continent as the as the only way we can make a headway like how the americans have succeeded in you know making their country a free a free a free a free country where a lot of people irrespective of their color or their tongue or nativity or, or wherever you are coming from you are entitled to those universal uh, you know human rights that are there as uh, international laws and international humanitarian laws and human rights laws as well. Thank you very much.